Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be watching Korean shows and trying Korean snacks. I asked over on my Instagram your favorite Korean shows, plus I just made a list myself of ones that I was interested in, and I did share an unboxing of all of my Korean snacks over on my TikTok at Talkbookish Podcast, and I am so excited to watch some Korean shows and eat some Korean snacks. I just got out of the shower for the day and I'm like, I'm ready for some snacks. <laughs> Let's go. It's a huge box of snacks. We have small snacks. We have big snacks. We have chocolatey snacks. We have fruity snacks. I really don't know and I'm not going to know what each item is because this came from Korea. So yeah, we're just going to dive into some shows, dive into some snacks. I'll let you know what I'm watching and what I'm snacking on and let you know my thoughts of everything that I'm watching and eating. There are a bunch of Korean shows on Netflix. So I have lots of options. And like I said, I have lots of snack options. So it's gonna be like cozy up in bed, watch Korean shows, eat Korean snacks type of day, and I'm gonna take you along with me. First order of business is to find out what the first show we're gonna watch is, which I'm very excited to decide. All of Us Are Dead, super good show. Wow, we have some good ones. Hands Down, Crash Landing on You, 39 is so good and sad. Hometown Cha 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 is adorable too. Business Proposal, which I might watch that. But yeah, All of Us Are Dead. There's been a couple. Maybe I need to make a list of ones that I recommend down in the description box. Don't hold me to it, but I might do that. Um, okay, so All of Us Are Dead. <laughs> Um, let's start with business proposal. This one is recommended by someone in my in-person book club. Okay. Business proposal. Oh, super cute. Swoonworthy charming comedy. There's 12 episodes. We're going to try the first episode, I think. Okay, it says, in disguise as her friend, Hari shows up to a blind date to scare him away, but plans go awry when he turns out to be her CEO and makes a proposal. Oh my goodness, this sounds so freaking cute. We are absolutely watching this one. They look a little bit like pasta noodles, fried pasta noodles, but they're made out of rice. And they're not that spicy. They're actually good. I like the seasoning. Mmm, crunchy. All right, Daniel says that these have the same mouthfeel as a bugle. I think they're thicker and I don't know. A little bit harder whereas bugles are a little bit more crunchy like brittle and thinner and obviously shaped different but 
really good. I needed to check in. I'm about halfway through the first episode of Business Proposal. I don't think the episodes have names. It's just Business Proposal. I'm going to have all of the shows that I watch linked down below. They're all going to be on Netflix. And I'm just going to watch the first episode unless it's like a movie. Um, and then I will judge whether I want to move on. I already know that I want to watch this show. I'm already in love with the characters and the plot and it's funny and uh, I freaking love Korean shows so much. Some of my like more recent favorites, it was the 100 and then Survive the Island, Fire Island, Survive the Island or something like that. Ugh, those are so good. But I have watched quite a few. Um, I love like reality shows. I love movies. I love K-dramas. I love all of the things. I don't think I've ever watched a Korean show that I haven't liked. So that's saying something. Anyway, I have tried several snacks. Um, this has been my favorite one so far. I have a bunch of candy here. Um, Daniel has tried like two of these, but it's like a kind of like a chewy candy with a little bursting part in it. Um, this red one right here says it is a Korean red ginseng candy. I don't know how I feel about that. This one looks to be strawberry. This is a grape one. This one is a green grape one, which I've had one of these before and it actually tastes exactly like green grapes. I also thought I had two of these. One is cappuccino and then one is coffee. And then I also have this thing that says it's black candy. So we're gonna try the black candy because I love licorice. That's what I'm kind of hoping it is, but it's just like a hard, oh, it smells good. I don't know what it is. It kind of smells like coffee, but it smells good. It's a hard candy. All right, I changed my mind about the black candy. The further you got into the candy, it kind of almost had like a dirt taste. Um, We'll try the red, Korean red ginseng, which I'm also nervous about, but this one tastes like an incense. It feels like I'm eating sandalwood. I don't know if I like this, but it also has like a minty. I can't describe this flavor. <laughs> um, no, I'm not gonna. Mm -mm. This is a no. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna try this chewy one. Daniel's had two of these, like I said. Yeah, there's usually like a chewy bit in there, but I can't see it. Mm, it kind of has a, it's not horrible. I'm gonna spit this one out too. I'm gonna try the regular, just purple grape. Okay, it's another one of those circle candies. Hold on, let me take a drink. Cleanse the palate, you know? It's good, it's fine. Okay, next is the strawberry. Mm-hmm, I like that one a little bit better. They're not like, I wouldn't go to the store and buy these, you know? Okay. I have had these before and I actually liked these. If you've ever had muscadines, I think that's what they're called. That's what this tastes like. Now we're gonna try the cappuccino one. I don't know where the coffee one went. Maybe it's back in the box, but we're gonna try the cappuccino one. Ooh, this is fun. So it has two layers to it, a top and a bottom. It's a hard candy. Mmm, mmm. One side I like more than the other. So this top lighter brown part, I really like. The bottom one is a little bit more the coffee, you know, and the top is almost like a caramelly, sweeter. So together, it's kind of perfect. Okay, now the next snack I'm gonna try is this. It seems to be some type of like rice cake with some type of speckled white stuff on it. None of the words on here are in English. So I don't know if it's salty, I don't know if it's sweet, but we're gonna try it. And then we're gonna finish this show and try the next show. All right, are we ready to try it? Mm, I'm scared, but let's try it. It tastes like a rice cake. Okay, this one is a winner. 
going on my list. So freaking cute. Okay, the first show, so freaking cute. It came out last year. There's 12 episodes. I should be able to blaze through those. It's one of those ones you just want to marathon, but I need to figure out what the next show is going to be and the next set of snacks is going to be. So let me go over to Instagram because some other um, things came in. Um, I think, let's see. Mm, lots of lots of suggestions. Um, okay. It's okay not to be okay. Bloodhounds, bad and crazy. Let me look those up. Let me decide what's going to be next and then I'll let you know. Okay, we're going to try It's Okay to Not Be Okay. This one came out in 2020. It has 16 episodes. It's swoon worthy, quirky, and heartfelt. It says an extraordinary road to emotional healing opens up for an antisocial children's book writer and a selfless psych ward caretaker when they cross paths. These are those rice cakes without the icing. These are a little bit saltier than the others because they don't have the icing. All right, this is white hazelnut flavored and I love white chocolate. So this should be a winner. These are like wafer crackers. There's two in the package. There's two things like this. Mmm. Very sweet. Would be good with coffee. I also want to make a little drink. I think this is a hot drink. And all of the directions are in Korean. So I think I'm just going to add this to eight ounces of water. All right, I tried the mocha coffee mix. I did eight ounces of water, two of the packets, and some half and half. It's okay. It's still a little bland. Might need some sugar or something, but I'll drink it without for the sake of the video. I feel like they have a lot of rice snacks, so I'm always going to assume they're rice flavor. <laughs> There is one similar that says strawberry, but I don't know if they're the same, but I'm going to try this one. All right, this is what it looks like. It smells like a cracker. I don't know if they would consider this a cracker or a cookie. It tastes like it could go either way. I think those things inside are sesame seeds, black sesame seeds. This also seems like a cookie of some sort. So we're going to try this one and it says that it's coffee flavored so i'm excited about that i don't taste the coffee flavor and this is fine it's not like disgusting it's not super good it's very light though see i do not taste the coffee flavor at all the last one the last snack we're gonna try for this so it's okay to not be okay. Ooh, interesting. Oh, it smells sweet and it's kind of dense. It's kind of heavy for what it is, but it's this little disc. Mmm, this kind of tastes like a donut. Oh, <gasps> this tastes like original donuts. Like the cake, original cake donuts with no frosting. That's what this tastes like. That is exactly what it tastes like. It has that like oily, I don't know, the same oily quality, the same like 
donut. It is literally the same flavor. If you've ever had this donut, this is what that tasted like. Exactly, but like in a little condensed version. All right, we have tried all of the snacks for this show. Let me go ahead and watch the show. I'll do a midway check-in and I will check in at the end and let you know if I'm adding it to my watch later list. Charlie. Hi. Okay, I'm actually more than halfway through. It's not, it's okay to not be okay. And the first episode is called The Boy Who Fed on Nightmares. This show is really, really good, but it's also very, very dark. Cutting, nightmares, choking, mental patients, throwing up. There's a lot going on. I am shocked because this was actually recommended to me by Sandra's daughter. And I'm like, she watches this? I'm shocked, but so, so good. Highly recommend so far. I'm gonna finish watching the first episode and come back and let you know if I'm officially adding it to my watch leader list. I just finished watching It's Okay to Not Be Okay. And like I said, it is dark. Like, but it also has like this like fairy tale element to it because you're following a children's book author and this like, I don't know, psychiatrist, like he used to work in a psych hospital guy. Um, it's so interesting, but I also don't think I fully understood it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I get it, but I'm going to keep watching because I'm so intrigued. So that is going on my watch list. Here's some of the responses I have had. This one. Okay, so this is the third one I'm gonna try. Crash Landing on You came out in 2019. It has 16 episodes. It says swoonworthy, charming, and heartfelt. And the synopsis of this one is a paragliding mishap drops a South Korean heiress in North Korea and into the life of an army officer who decides that he will help her hide. And that sounds very interesting. So I'm going to watch this one. The first episode is 71 minutes. So over an hour. Um, I don't know which snacks I'm going to try because I'm a little like uh, over the snacks right now. So let's watch this and see how we feel afterwards. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to have links to the shows that I watched down in the description box for you. I don't know what snacks I tried, but I can link to the box of Korean snacks that I got. So if you want to try them for yourself, you can. It also came with a couple of face masks and I have tons of snacks left and I also have tons of shows left that I want to watch. So this is part one in a new series on my channel, trying Korean snacks, watching Korean shows, and sharing it with all of you. So let me know if you like this idea down in the comment section down below. Leave the Korean flag in the comment section down below. And if you have any Korean show recommendations, leave those in the comment section down below. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye friends.